and sit down. Hi, welcome to Smith Classic Cars. Today I'm going to show you my 62 Austin Healey. This is the Mark II 3000. It's a six cylinder, three carburetor, top loader transmission, two seat Austin Healey. So it's pretty rare, about one of 100. But what makes it more rare and more special is it was my dad's car. But let me get it out of here and we can uh, give you a closer look at it. This model is a true roadster with side curtains only. No roll up windows and no back seats. Healy wanted to go racing and to do so, they produced this in limited series in 61 and 62. They went from two to three carbs, modified the valve springs, tweaked the cam and called it the Mark II. It uses a ladder frame and a steel and aluminum body. She has a 92 inch wheelbase and a curb weight of about 2400 pounds. Disc brakes in the front, drums in the rear, and later cars like this one came with a top loader transmission and a fiberglass transmission tunnel making this especially rare and desirable. In addition, this car has factory option power brakes. And as best I can tell, there were only a couple produced in this exact spec. And this may be the only survivor. It was rough when my dad bought it. The front end was smashed in really bad. He took it to Ellery Engel, the guy for Healy Metalwork. After getting it back from Ellery, we finished up the bodywork and painted it in the garage. They sold new for about 3,700 bucks. Inside, I recently replaced the steering wheel, horn button, and blinkers. I know my dad would be pleased about that. The dash is nicely laid out with oil pressure, water temp, push button start, speedometer odometer, a nice size tack, overdrive switch, fuel gauge, choke, heater controls, and grab handle. There's pockets in the doors and a small package tray in the back. It was initially offered as a two-seater and occasional four-seater, but after all was said and done, over 5,000 four-seaters were manufactured, compared to the 355 of the two-seaters in total. In the trunk, there's room for a full-size spare, a small bag or groceries, ample space for a weekend jaunt with the wife. She's got her original painted wire wheels, a nice long hood, and underneath, a 3-liter inline 6 with three SU carburetors with the original rock strainer air filters. It has an upgraded 4-row radiator and an upgraded flex fan to keep it cool. It was advertised to have 136 horsepower and about 170 foot-pounds of torque. 0 to 60 was in 11 seconds and a top speed of 115 miles per hour. Here's my dad to give us a brief tour. What are you looking at, Dad? 61 Austin Healy Mark II. 100 horsepower, 110 miles an hour. Treated either six cylinder engine with three SU carburetors.
in the car we have not an owner's manual but a driver's handbook and on the first page an advertisement for safety fast the magazine for those who practice driving as an art there was always a question of the year so I ordered the factory record it truly is a 1962 and in the package tray in a package of his preferred smokes dad rides along with me the other women in his life for me it's a long list with all the cars in the Smith stable but none more important than my three ladies Jackie McKenna and Colleen you gotta love the half-truths here a motor car created for the young family sleek lovely and practical Sleek and lovely, yes, but practical? Well, you be the judge. All right, well, let's go for a drive. Gearbox with overdrive. Scared pretty well on the freeway. 3000 RPM gets you 65, 70. That's not too bad. All right. Well, there's not a lot of room in the cockpit. It's uh, roomy enough for an average sized driver. Pedals are really close together, so you got to be careful about hitting the uh, the wrong pedal. It's great if you want to do some heel toe, but uh, sometimes you can do it inadvertently. That's a problem. It drives a little rough, like a sports car would. My dad would say that it drove like a plank in a rock quarry, and I think he's right. straight six engine has a lot of low end torque. It's like a tractor engine, so long stroke, smaller bore. So it goes really good. And in its day, it was pretty fast. In the summertime, if I'm stuck in traffic, she'll get a little hot. But uh, hey, this English car was designed for English weather. <laughs> That's it for this episode of Smith Classic Cars. I hope you enjoyed my 1962 Austin Healy. It was a lot of fun. See you next time. <laughs> McKenna on the left. Jackie on the right. Alright, hard car, hard and